Hi, Stargazer. This is Marcy of Earth Sky. Look for the moon after sunset on the evenings of September 28th, 29th, and 30th. It'll lie near the teapot. The teapot stands out as an obvious pattern of stars in the constellation of Sagittarius the Archer when the moon is not glowing brightly within it. It really does resemble an earthly teapot. So why look toward the teapot when the moon is washing out its stars? Because when we look toward the moon when it's near the spout of the teapot, as it is on September 28th, we're looking in the direction of the center of the Milky Way galaxy. On the following evening, September 29th, the first quarter moon will float among the stars of the teapot. They'll set after midnight. And on September 30th, the moon is drifting away from the teapot. So whenever you gaze toward the teapot, you are also looking at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. The galactic center is located between the tail of Scorpius and the teapot of Sagittarius. Then once the moon moves on, you'll need a fairly dark sky to see the teapot. It'll be above the southern horizon as darkness falls in September, and it'll set before midnight. In a dark sky, can you imagine the Milky Way as steam rising from the teapot spout? It's really the light from a thick concentration of stars and dust in the disk of our Milky Way galaxy. And on September evenings, the Milky Way is stretching overhead from Perseus and Cassiopeia through Cygnus, Aquila, Scutum, Sagittarius, and Scorpius. It's an incredible sight in a dark sky. If you've got binoculars, use them to scan along the Milky Way to see numerous clusters and nebulae. Please subscribe, like, and share so you won't miss any upcoming night sky events. I hope you enjoy stargazing as much as I do.